Welcome back. Voters in 10 American states are taking part in primaries to pick a Republican presidential candidate. Super Tuesday sees contests in a number of key states, including Ohio, where polls show a close race between Mitt Romney and Rick Santorum. Of the 10 states up for grabs on Super Tuesday, Mitt Romney can be most confident about Massachusetts. He was the governor there and was popular, even if he spent most of the campaign disowning his most important legislative achievement, health care reform. I'm excited by the response, by the number of people here, by your enthusiasm and passion. Things will be different in the Deep South, where former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is confident of victory in his home state of Georgia, which has the highest number of delegates to award at 76. This will be the third time that I've made a comeback, so it's, uh, it's kind of interesting to watch. But the swing state of Ohio in the middle of the country will be watched by many. No Republican has won the presidency without winning Ohio. And Rick Santorum says it's very important. It always comes down to Ohio. We need to make sure that Ohio puts forth the best possible nominee to take on Barack Obama. The candidates need to win more than 1,400 delegates to get the nomination. Almost a third of those are available today in what may be a key milestone in the road to the general election in November. Before I do, I want to make uh, a few announcements about some steps we're taking to help. President Obama today called his first news conference in more than three months, ranging far and wide over the economy and foreign policy, and looking comfortable. Nothing to do with the Republican Super Tuesday elections, just a coincidence, he said. And Richard joins us now live from Washington. Richard, returning to the Republican primaries, it all comes down to Ohio, says Rick Santorum. What's the speculation at the moment? Well, the opinion polls show it's a neck and neck race in Ohio. And that's a very important state from all sorts of points of view. Um, no Republican has been elected as president without carrying that state in a general election. So they really feel that they have to do very well there. Mitt Romney has been rising in the polls. He was 10 points behind his rival Rick Santorum in Ohio up until recently. Now they're neck and neck. And he's hoping that his momentum there will take him over the line. And really, that's what this is all about. It's about whether Mitt Romney, who has been the favorite or at least uh, the candidate in the uh, front for most of this campaign, Campaign, whether he can decisively push things over the line this time. If he can't, well, then the doubts will come back as to whether he's good enough to fight Barack Obama in the general election in November. And it all comes down to this 10 states today. If he comes forward and wins in a number of those, he'll be in much better shape come tomorrow. Richard Downs in Washington.